Okay guys, so this has been a tough week in the fish room. A lot of changes, a lot of things have happened. So if you look over here, you see two stingrays, right? So you got the marble stingray, you got ray. You don't see a black diamond here because they're moved. So what happened in this tank, they're picking on ray, her disc wall bit up. And if you notice, my little buddy Seisub was passed away last week, he's not here either. He got picked on and he just stopped eating. So I don't know if that's a, a fish room mistake or just nature itself. Smaller one gets picked on, the bigger one eats most food. So if you see over here, swing on this side, the lights are off right now, but there is Athena, the albino stingray, and there's Diamond, the black stingray. So they've been moved into a new tank. I got a new Cerevium fish right there from my local fish store, but overall It's been a lot of depth and I lost Nine fish this week. So say it's up the stingray over in this tank in the corner. I had four Man amazing plecos. I had a green pleco. I had a tiger pleco. I had um, Golden nugget pleco all died I made the rookie mistake of overfeeding this tank, ammonia spike, I didn't catch it in time, and it's all died. Now, if we swing over here to now one of the tanks that are probably my saddest, but you can see all of a sudden my Pariba just stopped eating. So I'm trying to get him to stop moving around, try to get him to be face down and breathe. He's still fighting, but I don't know how much longer we have with that. So that's been a lot of death in the fish room this week but on the bright side we go over here i got a new dinosaur fish something a lot of fish rooms need to have it's right down here got him yesterday as a tiger biter man i can't wait till that guy grows out so that's a new one he's in a small quarantine tank here just to get him acclimated has it nice and dark and this is a perfect sponge filter right here and got a heater there so the water stays nice and warm He's already pooping, so I know he's definitely ate at the place he was at. So I'm going to feed him and kind of see what happens in there. So that's going to be cool. But the reason why I'm shooting this video is the most important thing I want everybody to know is it's really important to really talk about emotions. And this is everybody, but men in general, talk about your emotions. And for me, being a fish room with a lot of death makes me feel really sad. And why am I sad? It's because I care about my fish. I care about my fish because it's a hobby I do, and the hobby I do makes me be part of a bigger community of taking care of my aquatics. So if you notice right then and there, I transitioned to not just talking about the emotion, but naming the why behind it and the why behind that, which is critical for your emotions, man, out there. So that's when I talk about this. A lot of death in the fish room, multiple changes are happening, but emotions are the best thing. So Subscribe, like, there'll be more updates coming for the end of the year. Um, Ron Johnson, mental health coach, is going to be a therapist. Thanks for listening. Well, you can see, guys, right there is my temporary kind of quarantine tank. Well, today is a sad day, and you can see right there, there's a quarantine tank on the bottom, sponge filter and heater, but no fish. And this tank is when we zoom out and this tank is one fish less. So if you remember from my previous video in this tank used to be the Periba, the true Periba and Rocky and he unfortunately passed away. So it's hard to say exactly what happened. Let me turn the camera around and let's talk. It's hard to say exactly what happened, but what I'm thinking what happened is that if you look here, there was an opening. So I saw him jump here he fell all the way down at the bottom behind there one day. Last time I tried changing the water, he jumped out from here and landed on the ground. And he sustained substantial injuries. I tried to medicate him, put him in a quarantine tank you saw there, but unfortunately he did not make it. Um, it's a less learned fish hobby is that some fish are really aggressive. You gotta be careful, uh, keep the lids down, especially the Pariba, they're a Pima or a red tail catfish, really big, extremely, 
powerful fish. In my case, Rocky just passed away. But however, one thing I noticed is that right before he passed away, he, started, he stopped eating. Looked a little kind of different, but I didn't know what was going on. So I did the water change and test the water, and guess what? That's when he jumped out, and that's what it was a downward hill slope for Rocky itself. So Rocky is an empty tank here. You guys can see it's very empty, but don't be don't be aware. A new fish will come soon. The only person left in here is Tank. The zoom in this you guys see it tank the pleco but this tank is very empty and it's a sad day because we lost ross rocky the true cariba catfish so empty tank it's a part of the hobby and obviously quarantine tank there there's rocky in a plastic bag there but uh, part of fish hobby and guess what i'm gonna learn from this lesson i'm gonna try to practice different habits of putting you know some protective layer right here so they don't jump out. Make sure certain fish don't get spooked. Be careful when doing water changes and medication. You can see medication there and there's some medication there, but sad day for Rocky and part of hobby. A sad day. Stay tuned guys, some more stuff coming soon and more new fish coming to the fish room. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for more. <laughs>